how sugar is made from sugar beets inside the factory process. Did you know that sugar beets can transform from humble roots to delicious treats right before your eyes in a factory? Let's find out how. Sugar is a natural carbohydrate in many fruits, vegetables, and nuts. Through the natural process of photosynthesis, all green plants produce sucrose, the scientific term for sugar. The plants that produce sugar, sugar beets and sugarcane, are the most viable sources for large-scale production due to their high sucrose content. In this video, we're taking you on an exciting tour of a sugar beet factory where we'll uncover the fascinating process of turning these beets into sweet delights. Sugar beets are root vegetables grown in cooler climates, such as in Minnesota, Michigan, Wyoming, and Idaho. The process of harvesting and refining sugar from sugar beets is meticulous, involving multiple stages to extract pure sucrose. Factories operate continuously for several months during the harvest season to process the beets while they are fresh. Sugar beet harvesting Sugar beets are typically harvested during the fall and early winter months when the climate is cool, which helps preserve the sucrose content in the roots. Farmers use specialized harvesting machinery that lifts the beets out of the ground while removing excess soil and leaves. The harvested sugar beets are then loaded onto trucks and transported to nearby processing factories. Transportation to factories. Once harvested, the sugar beets must be processed quickly to prevent the loss of sucrose content. Trucks transport the freshly harvested beets to processing factories, which are strategically located near sugar beet farms to reduce transportation time and maintain the beets quality. The history of sugar. The history of sugar production from sugar beets dates back to the 18th century. In 1747, German chemist Andreas Margraft discovered that sugar could be extracted from beets, similar to sugarcane. His student, Franz Karl Echard, further developed the process, leading to the establishment of the first beet sugar factory in Silesia in 1801. This innovation gained prominence during the Napoleonic Wars, as European access to sugarcane was disrupted. By the 19th century, sugar beet cultivation spread across Europe and the United States, revolutionizing the industry by offering a sustainable, temperate climate alternative to tropical sugarcane cultivation. Washing and Preparation Upon arrival at the factory, the sugar beets are unloaded into receiving areas. The first step in processing is thorough washing to remove dirt, rocks, and any plant debris. This ensures that the beets are clean before further processing. Slicing the beets. After washing, the beets are fed into slicing machines that cut them into thin strips known as cossets. These cossets resemble French fries and have a large surface area, which helps with efficient sugar extraction. Extracting the raw juice. The cossets are moved into a large extraction tank called a diffuser. In the diffuser, hot water circulates around the cossets, allowing the sucrose to dissolve into the water. This process is known as diffusion. The result is a liquid known as raw juice, which contains dissolved sugar. Filtration to remove impurities. The raw juice contains impurities such as non-sugar, organic matter, minerals, and fibers. 
To purify it, the raw juice is filtered using a process called carbonatation. During this step, lime and carbon dioxide are added to the juice, forming solid particles that trap the impurities. These solids are then filtered out, leaving behind a clearer juice. evaporation, and formation of syrup. The purified juice is concentrated by evaporating the water. The juice is boiled in large evaporators, reducing its volume and increasing its sugar concentration. As water evaporates, the juice thickens into a syrup containing about 65% sugar. Crystallization of sugar. The thick syrup is transferred to crystallization tanks, where it is further heated under controlled conditions. As the syrup cools slightly, sugar crystals begin to form. To encourage the growth of sugar crystals, fine sugar crystals are added to the syrup. These seed crystals help the sucrose molecules in the syrup arrange themselves into larger sugar crystals. Separation in a centrifuge. Once the sugar crystals have formed, the mixture of crystals and syrup is spun in a centrifuge. The high-speed spinning forces the syrup away from the sugar crystals. The molasses is collected separately while the sugar crystals remain. Drying process. The sugar crystals contain some moisture after being separated from the syrup. To ensure the sugar is completely dry, the crystals are passed through drying machines that use hot air. This process reduces the moisture content, preventing the sugar from clumping or spoiling during storage and transportation. Cooling and screening. After drying, the sugar crystals are cooled and screened to remove any clumps or irregular pieces. The sugar is graded by size to meet the specifications of different customers and applications. Packaging sugar. The dried sugar crystals are conveyed to packaging lines where they are packed into various sizes, ranging from small consumer packages to large bulk bags for food manufacturers. The packaging process ensures the sugar is kept clean, dry, and free from contaminants. Shipping to stores and manufacturers. Once packaged, the sugar is shipped to grocery stores, bakeries, beverage manufacturers, and other food producers. This pure sucrose is used in countless food products, from baked goods to beverages, and serves as an essential ingredient in many recipes. Byproducts of sugar beet processing. Molasses. The syrup left over after extracting sugar crystals is known as molasses. Molasses can be used in animal feed, fermentation processes, and the production of certain sweeteners. Pulp. The leftover beet pulp from the diffusion process is dried and often used as livestock feed due to its high fiber content. Lime and carbon dioxide residue the lime and carbon dioxide residues from the filtration process are often recycled and used as soil conditioners in agriculture. The journey from sugar beet to the pure sugar we use in our kitchens is a fascinating and efficient process. From harvesting the beets in cooler climates to processing them in factories, every step is meticulously designed to extract pure sucrose. Thanks to this process, sugar remains one of the purest and most widely used ingredients in the world, derived from nature's own sweet creations. <laughs>